This is Twit. Bandwidth for Know How is brought to you by Cashfly. Today on Know How, Cosplay Part 2. It's a Twitch show where we build, bend, break, and upgrade. I am Father Robert Ballas here. And I'm Brian Burnett. And you may have noticed that there's a, there's a, a guy. There's the, the yeah. guy. He's back. He's yeah. back. That's right, folks. It's I Patrick Delahanty. He's he's never left. He's actually yeah. right across from the studio. That's where his office is. Yeah. But he's here to give us some more cosplay knowledge. Now, uh, Patrick, in the last episode, you showed us a little bit of what it means to be a, a tailor, a seamstress, someone who can actually mold cloth into the shapes and the, the sizes that we want. Yeah, uh, that's an essential part of cosplay. You can't really make a costume if you're avoiding fabric. Right, yeah, yeah. And this is actually something I've I've seen. I've, I've gotten pretty good at 3D design. I can do mm. the electronics like mad, but when it comes to making something that's wearable, wearing 40 pounds of PLA filament is just not probably going to work out. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's a thing. different kind of thinking, right? Yeah. Like you have to have the three-dimensional space awareness when you're you're doing the fabric, but also like sewing machines were always a little daunting for me yeah. just looking at them, but now knowing how to thread a, th a sewing machine and that I won't instantly just, you know, send a needle through my thumb, I think uh, I can handle it now. I, I, I will say in the interim, I um, I was at my family home in Las Vegas and my father actually does have one of those sewing machines that he bought late at night and went on an infomercial. <laughs> Wait, it, like it actually works pretty well. Three easy payments? Three of, easy payments of twenty nine ninety five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But um, so I was trying it out and it, actually I, I used the lessons that you gave us in the last episode to figure out, okay, I was making the, the seams were straight, everything looked right, but... I guess I had mismeasured the fabric because when I put it on, it was all stretched out and it didn't have the oh. right proportions. It was well, not great. Yeah, it takes practice. Yeah, evidently so. doing a bag a lot easier than doing something like a shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So start yeah. with something simple, even curtains. <laughs> Ooh, Make wait. some nice blackout curtains. Normally, I turn my curtains into clothes. That's. That's why I'm I, Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's a strange <laughs> resemblance to, yeah, curtain right there. <laughs> oh, but we're not doing sewing today. Today we're going to be talking yep. a little bit about uh, something I think caters a bit more to the analytical mind of the Kita, and that is molding. Yes. Ah. Uh, so we're going to do some resin casting. Okay, now uh, let's do a quick overview. What exactly is resin casting? Uh, well, well, we'll make a mold, and that's just, it's going to duplicate an object, basically. Uh We'll put the object in the mold, create the mold, and then we'll put resin in it, which will harden and create a copy of whatever the object is we put in the mold. Right, right. Okay, well, so. we're going to get that into a bit. But first, I did want to talk about something that happened over the weekend. So between the last episode and this episode, there was actually a chance for you to use some of your cosplay skills down in San Jose. Can you tell me about Silicon Valley Comic Con? Yeah, I went, to, I went back to Silicon Valley Comic Con. We were there last year for Twit. And we interviewed a whole bunch of tech vendors. Uh, we had PancakeBot, uh, the uh, Rancho Obi-Wan was there, R2 Builders. This year, only about half of those Ooh. groups or, or vendors were still there. Uh, there was much, much smaller VR presence. Uh, they did have NASA and SETI, but other than that, it really, it, they brought in more toy and comic vendors, and it okay. became less of a combination technology and pop culture convention, and really focused more heavily on the pop culture, which made it a lot more like every other, other. convention out there. Yeah, I mean, that was supposed to be the thing, right? It was supposed yeah. to be, it's not Comic-Con, it's the Silicon Valley Comic-Con. Yeah, it was it, supposed it, to have the flavor of Silicon Valley. And they keep promoting it, Waz's name attached to it, and uh, Waz was there, he had a little booth mm. where he was, uh, there were some books being sold, and his, uh, he would be there for autographs for a couple hours. But his presence really wasn't that big. If if I had to guess if there was a face of this convention, it would have been Adam Savage. Right. He had a cosplay repair room. Uh, he was promoting it on Twitter and he was really involved with it. He did his uh, Adam Incognito video where he dresses in costume and people have to try to guess which cosplayer is him. Uh, which is sort of a tradition. Yeah. Right? It's been yeah, for the he last does that at six, a, seven years. Yeah. But he, he seemed to be involved in this convention, whereas was kind of taking a backseat. 
but he's like the mascot of the convention. So it, it was weird. Yeah. Uh, they did fix the overcrowding problems. They expanded a lot. The ticketing system with the RFIDs was working a lot more reliably. Well, last year they gave up. Yeah. Uh, last year, I mean, th th this was the thing. I mean, Brian, you, you See, weren't I able to come down. I missed it both years. Yeah, yeah it's kind of a bummer. But but the nice thing about this is uh, I've gone to San Diego Comic-Con and I will never go again. It's just too big. <laughs> too big, oh, yeah. It's too big, it's too crowded. And you basically, you can pick like a trailer that you want to see and you can get into that. That's it, because the lines are so long. Huh. So the promise of this was A, a lot smaller. B, it's got the flavor of Silicon Valley, which was mm -hmm. perfect for Twit. Uh, and we gave them a lot of leeway last year because it was the first con. We thought, okay, there's, it's going to be disorganized. It's going to be tiny. There's going to be nobody there. And we were all ple very pleasantly surprised. There were not just were there people there, but there were people who were, you know, they were caused up. Mm -hmm. They were ready to go. They were yeah. ready to play. And so we kind of forgave them the fact that the bracelet scanners didn't work at all. Uh, and the fact <laughs> yeah. that- That sounds I, like Silicon Valley then. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, like yeah. at one point, um, like one of the doors leading into the convention center in the back, it was unguarded. So I'm like, so you could just not pay and just walk right in. Yeah. And there was a line like three blocks long outside of people waiting right. to get in to pay, but they could have just walked in the side. Yeah. So they, but, what you're saying is they've had a year and they didn't really change anything. Uh, they fixed the RFID. They expanded to uh, some additional venues to help spread out the crowd. But, it became more of the pop culture yeah. convention you can get anywhere. Okay. I mean, if you look at my fancons.com site, you can find anything like this near you. And you, it's this is not that so much different. It so, didn't have the appeal that it should have, I guess, or any differentiating factors that, like, from any other Comic Con uh, that you would yeah, have gone it, to. It had a lot of big names, like, a lot of the Star Trek actors were there. Uh, so, if you wanted to see some guests, they had a good selection, but mm. you can get that at many conventions out right. there. So, yeah. So next year, probably going to sit it out? Uh, I certainly wouldn't pay the, like, $100 yeah. it costs to get in. 100 bucks? Yeah. Well, you got, you got a press cheaper pass. ones out there. Yeah, yeah. I, see, press, I have a press yeah. pass, press so press I didn't works. have to pay, but I would not pay for this. Not when there's cheaper ones out there. That's kind of sad. And all the so, doors were guarded this time? Yes, they were. <laughs> <laughs> They've upgraded. Yeah. Well, because I've got, also gone to Comic-Con New York at the Javits Center, and that was a little chaotic, but... Oh yeah, it was still better than this. Hmm. And then level of cosplay, like oh, the cosplay was fantastic. Good? Oh yeah, they had a costume contest with some really impressive ones. Like there's one with a giant, uh, it had uh, armor and giant wings. There was some really creative ones. Like some people dressed as the ships of Star Trek. <laughs> what? <laughs> and they had okay. that's they what had, I love. Okay. They had <laughs> totally off the wall costumes. Uh, it would be even it won audience favorite. It, they had uh, body suits that were painted like stars, and then they had like on their head or through their body, they had a ship. Like the Enterprise or a Klingon Bird of Prey or okay. Romulan Warbird. Sure. It was and then hilarious. they'd like run around and fight uh, each other? Yeah, they'd just be, flying around. And, uh, I would be the Borg mother. There was ship. a Borg cube. I'd, yeah. yeah, I'd just uh, paint a box black and run around at people. There was another one that was introduced, a boy and his dog. And out walks Darth Vader and Chewbacca. On a and Chewbacca's on a leash. Aww. They won an award, and then Chewbacca comes out with Darth Vader on the leash when they came back. Well, uh, last, they, yeah, was, last year they had uh, the Ghostbusters, and they had a dog in a Ghostbusters vest. Which yes. I'm like, okay, that's, that's cool. cool. Actually, now that I think of it, Ghostbusters was big last year because of the movie. Yeah. The yeah. movie. Uh, well, they had the the car there. Yeah, didn't the Ecto. Well, it wasn't the Ecto. They, it was. They called it. Something oh, it was their Ecto, their, yeah, their Ecto, their one. version, yeah. mm. and um, then the Back to the Future DeLorean the, was there. Yeah, they was had there that was here? that was back. Okay, yeah, and they had some other movie props. Um, yeah, Star Wars was huge for cosplay this year. Star, uh, yeah, naturally, yeah, and the the Star Wars fan groups, the Five O First, Rebel Legion, uh, the R Two Builders, Mandalorian, Mercs, oh, the, they were all yeah, back there. There you go. Yeah, there's a Dalek. There's always a Dalek. Yeah, there always has to be a Dalek. There's me doing a report, but nice. uh, so, yeah, I've got a report on AnimeCons.tv if anybody wants to see footage and the whole oh, thing. exactly what it so, would look like. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I, I will say that. Um, Adam Savage. A little spoiler here for anyone who's not watching the you show. You mean your good friend, Adam my, Savage? My good, I, yeah. I interviewed him. Let's, let's, let's <laughs> drop, some, drop some names. Yeah. No, but um, I, I don't know if either of you are watching The Expanse. No, no. I'm not. If Watch the season finale for season two. But won't that be spoilery? Well, I've got two seasons to I know. You're gonna have, you got some I'll work. I'll get there. I'll get there. I, I'll just say Adam Savage is a, is a yes, character. Yes, I know he's in there. With speaking lines. He, he tweeted it, so I know he's in there. Does he have the hat on, though? Because I won't no, recognize him without no, the hat. No. Yeah. And, and actually, uh, the first time I saw, because they, they do uh, one of those things where they cut back and forth between the various things happening in that particular universe. And he's in one of the first scenes. And I'm looking and going, that looks like Adam Savage. 
And then later on, he has a speaking line. I'm like, oh my God, that's Adam Savage. <laughs> it has to be yeah. Adam Savage. And then he dies. Oh, spoiler. Dude, what? I said spoiler. Oh, okay. Well, good thing you said spoiler. <laughs> all right, let's get into it. So last week was all about the clothes, all about yes. the, uh, the the tailoring. Let's do something that's a bit uh, easier for, I think, our, our 3D printing crowd to understand. I was going to say, isn't a molding or resin, isn't that like a primitive 3D printing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah basically. Yeah. yeah. It, you you make a design in this particular case, a design is a mold, and then you pour in your raw material, yeah. either resin or filament. Now, what is are the steps? Let, let's, let's take them through okay. this. What do I need in order to do resin casting? Uh, so I, I have the materials here. Look at that. He's always prepared. He had, I had them. He had oh, them. they're oh. down here. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Which is much more convenient. We are so uh, organized here. Yeah. Oh, I have some other stuff back there. Um, we have the uh, the silicone putty, which we'll use to create a mold. All right. uh, and th there's all sorts of different brands you can use. We'll put some links in the show notes. Uh, but uh, this is Easy Mold Silicone Putty. And there's two components, an A and a B. And together, or uh, separately, they do nothing. Mm -hmm. But when you mix them together, they will start to cure and harden. Oh, so how long can I keep it like this before it dries up too much? Uh, separately? Actually, I have no idea. A long time. <laughs> yeah, as long as it's not exposed to air. Probably. Yeah, yeah. It's you okay. keep it sealed and it'll it'll last quite a while. So people know what and, this is. I mean, if you've ever played with a two-part resin, it's the same thing. Or an epoxy. You have to yeah, mix them together, otherwise it stays yeah, Is it JB Weld or whatever? Yeah. And so, yeah, it's just like Silly Putty. And now, how hard does it get when it when you actually do mix it together? And how long uh, does it take for it to set? Well, this is silicone, so it's not going to get solid. Uh, but in t about 24 minutes, it's good enough to start using to do a cast. Nice. Oh, so it doesn't take long. All right. uh, well, gu guide us to the parts yeah. list because I think we have some links here. And uh, so we've got also, uh, once you create the mold, you'll need a mold release agent. Uh, and so all it takes is one spray of this, and this helps you get the object out of the mold. Okay. Uh, and actually, no, I'm sorry. It helps you get the resin cast out of the mold after that's done. Right. Otherwise, it could be locked in and stuck You'd together. You'd have to destroy the cast. And so this, this just mold. creates like a little layer, and all it takes is one squirt, and then it's good to go, and you can get it out of the mold a lot easier. So it's mold release. Uh, and then we've got the actual resin. And this is similar to the putty. We've got an A and a B. <laughs> Don't and mix that up with your shampoo and conditioner. Oh, I guess. no. Yeah. <laughs> well, one by itself would be fine. But if mm -hmm. you mix both of them together, <laughs> you're in serious trouble. Uh, actually, I have a spot in my jeans where some of it dripped yesterday. So that's permanent. What, kind of, what, <laughs> what are we looking at as far as price? I mean, how much is it going to cost me to do this project? Uh, Prices vary quite wildly. Uh, you can get this stuff at like Michael's or AC Moore, and that'll be a little more pricey because it's retail. You can find it online, uh, and it's not too bad. You can the the resin seems to be the most expensive part, hmm. uh, and hopefully it'll last a while. I so yeah, all together, all of this stuff ran like fifty bucks. Not bad. And so that's not much mold here, oh. and, but it's a lot of resin. Uh, and this, because you only need a squirt, this is four ounces. This is going to last forever. Right. Because I'm not going to use much of this. Um, and you do, you know, if you do a mold, you could also do, you could 3D print a mold. Right. And, and, yeah. and pour the resin into that. You To get it out, you'd have to destroy the 3D print. Mm -hmm. But if you only need something cast once, you'll get a nice, you know. Or, or, or I mean, you could do something where you take a 3D print, make the initial like very yeah. close to the size, then you put in a little bit of putty to get yeah. the exact pr uh, proportions right. Yeah, and to smooth it out. To and smooth it out. So, I mean, it, yeah, you don't have to use nothing but the putty yeah. to make the mold. You can use any object yeah, as long use... as that final layer is uh, is malleable enough to take the shape of whatever you yeah. want it to Yeah, if, if it's not malleable enough, then you'll have to destroy the mold. And it would be nice, if you have to make multiple, you definitely need a mold you can reuse uh, so you can make them multiple right. objects. I, I know when I was doing metal casting, it's sand. So you, you make the mold out of, out of sand, and who cares if you break it because you just remake the sand. Yeah. This is a little bit different. And mm. now this resin is clear. They also have uh, a opaque, like it's a white color. Uh, and so if you want something that is translucent, you want to go with the clear. Uh, if it's an opaque object, you can go with the white. Uh, and you can also mix in a dye. And if you add the dye, you can either get like colored gems if you use the clear, or you have a the color in your object that you've cast. Right. 
-hmm. All right, let's go ahead and uh, bring our audience through the process of actually molding and then uh, casting. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and take a moment for these messages. Previously on Twit. There's good touch, mm -hmm. there's bad touch, and there's force touch. And there's 3D touch. We're going to talk about the latter two. Mm-hmm on the show today. Mm -hmm. other, many other shows you can watch to talk about the first two. <laughs> Windows Weekly. Surface laptop is the most important Surface device ever? You said I that, think, Paul. I, do, I know, it sounds ridiculous. Give it, give it a second, hold on. Let it seep in a little bit. It'll will, it will get it's better. It's seeping, all right. Not only does this thing have a future, but it's the core of the platform. It's the proof point for what Microsoft has been trying to show us. Mac Break Weekly. Merriam-Webster, the dictionary company, has added a new word. <laughs> the word is sheeple. The example, Apple debuted a battery case for the juice-sucking iPhone, an ungainly, lumpy case the <laughs> sheeple will happily shell out $99 for. That seems a little bit editorial for a reference, <laughs> don't you think? The new screensavers. Facebook Spaces, is that it? Yep, open up the app. Oh, look at that. Oh. Upside down penguins. Is that what's upside down for you? Uh, they are right side up for me, and they are so gigantic. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to get out, eaten. Watch out, he's going to eat your head. <laughs> Twit. It keeps going and going and going. It's like a booger. I can't get rid of it. <laughs> what happened? Did we crash it? Whoa, you just disappeared in like a burst of emojis. <laughs> I wish you would have seen what I saw. Whoa, you did the same thing. How did, how did you do how did that? You do, I don't know how you just That's did that. That's cool. And we are back. Patrick, you... Uh, well, you've had an explosion of stuff in front of you. Tell me, what, yeah. what's all this stuff? Uh, this is all the components we need to do resin casting. We're going to make the mold, we'll add the release, and then we'll pour in some resin. All cool. right, kick us off. Uh, I'm going to make you do this stuff, though. Oh, I so have to do You guys get to experience this, kind of like how Brian did his uh, sewing in the last one. Let's do uh, this. We'll, we'll do the molding here. So, right. <laughs> gonna... so an opportunity for people to see us fail. Got it. So <laughs> let's get you guys a bunch of... Uh, a and B component and, and here. And how exact do I have to be with like making equal parts uh, of A and B? You want to be pretty close. Uh, otherwise, it's not going to... So don't screw up, Padre. Correctly. Oh, so too, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to screw up. One here. And I, the easiest way I see to measure and make sure they're about the same is to roll it into a ball. So okay. I don't know if you guys want to... Roll, Roll these. these oh, then... why, why I got to get the colored ball? Because <laughs> you're more <laughs> colorful. <laughs> so I'm Is assuming that... you probably want your hands to be kind of clean right before you do this. <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't really you want know, to be rolling a lot of dust. Actually, if, okay. you're, if you're allergic to silicone, you probably want to wear gloves. You guys aren't allergic to silicone. Well, Is we're going to find out. bad? <laughs> <laughs> okay, mine's like uh, it, it's rolling out of a ball now. Do you oh, not know how to roll ball? Do I have to push this together harder? Or is that somebody never yeah, played with Play-Doh? You just want to make sure. You no, know, we you, couldn't afford Play-Doh. Okay. <laughs> I just took flour and put some water uh, in so it. Just, dirt. Yeah. It, that's good enough. Uh, oh, just right. see if uh, these are about the same. I think you get too I think much. That's, that's a little that's bit more. Too big. That's, yeah, that's too big. So it'll pull a little off. Boop, boop, boop. This uh, is like it's like it just melts basically. Mm. My body heat is turning this into back into. It's a little putty puddle. <laughs> this, uh, that's about. It's pretty close, right? Yeah, yeah. Her, her balls. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Oh, don't let the balls touch, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, now you can. Oh, now I can. Uh, you have uh, about a minute. You take about a minute and roll them together. Uh, so slam these together? Yeah, slam them together. This reminds me, like, the Tom Cruise, the first Mission Impossible, the two pieces of gum that you slam together and then explode. Right. Now we're going <laughs> to... Are you trying to kill us, Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? All right, so... Here we go. Okay. Yeah, and so just there you go. Now mix them together. Yeah, give it a good mix so there's so no. So I'm assuming swirls. that's probably not mixed enough. No, <laughs> you don't want to see any swirls. You want a nice consistent color for the whole thing. <laughs> what are you making? So it, it'll, this is how it'll I make take pasta. About a minute. I'm thinking it's like pasta. you know, it's look, mm, it's, pasta. Is it supposed to be getting really hot? Okay, what's so it what? It's warmer, oily. Is that just? Is yeah, this it's oily. oily. I do have paper towels here. So, okay, how so? I I want no swirls, right? I can't. Yeah, no swirls. Got to be a consistent color. Uh, All those it, years of playing with clay have it'll be, finally come uh, to. Fruit. It'll be a lighter purple than the purple that we started with here. Obviously. Now, what if I I change my mind and I want to separate them? <laughs> <laughs> well, then you go buy more. <laughs> this, how much is this stuff? 
I don't remember what this was. The resin was expensive. The resin was the expensive stuff. This is. Uh, uh, this is fun because I, I mean, yeah. that's not a whole lot, honestly. If you, when you put part A and part B together, that's still a very small volume. I, yeah, I see, can't see myself spending a thousand dollars just to make the mold. Yeah, so this is you can cast small things with this amount of. You're not casting like a face mask. Ooh. You need a lot more. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, so Brian had that question during the break, which was. Um, what, what if he wanted to cast his face? Yeah. He probably shouldn't uh, stick his face into a bowl of this stuff, right? Yeah. Well, that's, that's a whole different process. Where you, If you're doing prosthetic masks or mm -hmm. something, then... Like, I have a friend who had a cast of his head made uh, so that he'd be able to work on a costume of a particular Marvel character. And so he had to have his face covered in plaster and it had air holes. Right. And yeah. You don't stick your process. face into it, but they put it on your face. Yeah. Oh, this is getting hot. So this is exothermic. Yeah. This is yeah. like resin. All right. Now and uh, you, so now, it, call the ball. Uh, call the you ball. Wanna, you want to press an object into the putty. You probably don't want to press it down here. You can just. Is that mixed press enough? it on top. Yeah, that's mixed it on my face. So. Here, we've, this might make a nice little object. We've got the tip of a flashlight here, which has what? some little crowns around it. So okay. if you want to press that down in, don't do it on the mat. Oh, do it'll it on. probably stick in the fibers. Right. Uh, yeah, Brian. And just, we've got a transformer Aww. from the set, and you can press his face in. How come he gets a transformer and I get a uh, loser I'm, flashlight? Cool. Or, you, you know, you could have a Lego brick. But I've That's even more that. boring. Okay. Had I known, I would have grabbed yeah. something from... I have a doge at my desk. Ah, that could be like a warp core or something. Yeah, that, that'll look... Kind All right. Of, that is a cool shape. Uh, my, mine just looks like a transformer that's getting absorbed. Ah! Uh, so you're going to have like blob. a bust of... You, know, you should have done his face. Or you did do his face. Okay. Oh, All right. Oh, oh, and you want to leave it in the... In oh, the never mind. <laughs> too late. Oh, well, now you're going to... Let's do it again. Uh, oh, I, it's got a yeah. heart in Should I reinsert? You have to leave it in there. Okay. Uh, I, I forgot. I left that part out. You have to leave it in for 25 minutes. All right, Alex, just uh, can you speed this up for us real quick? Yeah. Just hit fast forward. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, you you, you want to do at least... This is actually getting yeah. kind of tough. I think I'm yeah, well, screwed up. Well, you, you really have only three minutes to work oh, with it. Oh, really? You should have told me this. I did <laughs> yeah. not know that. Oh, well, I, said, I said mix it for about you. a minute, and oh, then you no. put the object in. It's not, yeah, you can. I'm screwed. <laughs> uh, I think I'm okay. I'm good. Yeah, you're good. Uh, <laughs> it won't go back into a ball. It's hard That's and dirty. Okay. Oh, oh, and oh, I no. broke the transformer. Oh no, Padre screwed up. Uh, that's okay. That's why we've got two. <laughs> yeah, it's so hard. It won't imprint yeah. anymore. Oh, <laughs> I just. So you have more honey, right? I, yeah. <laughs> oh no, we'll go with yours. Okay, so yeah. this is and why I, we have. I've two. got one that I've previously prepared. This is why we have two. Wow, no, this hardens really fast. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's already Three like minutes. super sticky, but it's still bendable. It's bendable, and but that's it's how no you would get it out. Moldable. And uh, yeah, ideally, you want to leave it for 25 minutes. Uh, you can use a hair dryer to accelerate the curl, uh, the, the curing. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you leave it even longer, that's better. <laughs> oh, Padre's like, so sad. <laughs> Padre screwed up his mold. Oh yeah. no! Wow, that's that's nice and yeah, that, that's hard firm. That's, it's, that, you can't put anything into that. It's anymore. like Barney came on yeah, the set permanent. and left a present for us. <laughs> I love you. You love me. Mm. Let's screw up my silicon mold. All right. Now that we've got a mold. We uh, have one mold. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to drag this out, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> now this, you know, 25 minutes. For the sake of the show, we'll take it out now. No, we can wait. No. Right. That's, yeah. Because you, you've got something else you can <laughs> no, show us, right? Okay. We'll just stand here and speed this up. Yeah. So the next part is uh, we would put in the mold release. Okay. So okay. you have to take the object out. So why don't we go ahead and take it out? Like Excalibur. Let's say it's 25 minutes. It's <laughs> through the magic of editing, which yeah. wouldn't work. <laughs> all right. So all we need is... That's so, it. Okay, so that four ounces really will last a there, lifetime. You didn't even get it in there, did you? Yeah. It's you kind of missed the... You got oh, like yeah, the side. it off to the side. All right. And... A little now, do you too, need please. a spritz of that every time? Let, let's say I, I reuse the mold. I have to spritz it every time I use yeah. it, right? Yeah, okay. you want to make sure it's going to release easily. Uh, and so this takes just... Uh, 
Oh, it doesn't say how long, but it, 25 it's, minutes. Oh, it, it'll dry fairly quickly. <laughs> and it's not, it's only a spray. So it's not spraying that much in there. So that's I fine. I see. Uh, Should we put, I think Padre has the camera for it. Should, do you want to put it yeah, over on that side? Yeah, let's put it over here. See, this is what, what, what it looks like when, see, I had a mold and then I thought I could recast it. Yeah. No nope. well, one told see, me. Also, the thing about so your mold was you had it with the body sticking out to the side. So if you pour in the resin, oh. it was just going to come out the side. Oh. So. Okay, uh, yeah, these we, are things I could have picked a better object than uh, Cerebros here. You done screwed up, I done, I done screwed no, up. No, I screwed up. I picked a bad object. Well, but I mean, he, no, that's actually that's a good consideration. Lego it needs Bricks. to be bowl-shaped because it has to be able to hold the resin while it's Yeah, farming. you want it to, the, the mold to go around the whole thing. Okay. Uh, so we'll put him back on the TNT set later. <laughs> no one will know. He's only been there forever. Um, all right, so now we want to mix the resin. So like the putty, we want equal parts of A and B. How... Caustic is this stuff. Should I be worried about where I I drip? Little uh, yeah, you get don't it drip it in your pants. I told okay. you that was gonna. It's not gonna come out, is it? Oh, it's it's now. Rusty. Did yeah. did you just drip one, or was it the mixed formula that you drip? I dripped the mixed formula. Okay, <laughs> now, that will be there forever. Uh, yeah, you now have a resin impregnated jeans. So I, I have a little skin. spot on on my leg. Yeah, don't get it on your skin. Mm. Resin. Skin doesn't like epoxy, doesn't like resin. And it's exothermic. Yeah. It generates heat just like the putty. So Cosplay is dangerous. <laughs> you clearly <laughs> live in life on the <laughs> edge right now. Yeah. All right, show, All show right. us how this works. Is it equal parts? Yes, equal parts A and B. And uh, I, don't I, I asked this before uh, when we were doing the putty, how uh, close do you have to be to the equal parts? Uh, you should be able to get pretty close here. Uh, I use uh, it, this particular resin did come with little, like, measuring cups like that you'd get in the cough syrup or something. Right. And if you've got clean leftover ones from cough syrup, you could use those because after you use this once, done. <laughs> it done. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and you don't want to use it, it you don't want to pour it into a measuring cups. A measuring cup because yeah. it'll ruin the measuring, measuring cup. You don't want to put it into anything you're going to drink from later. So so basically this is stuff that uh, destroys everything it touches. So I, I cut the bottoms off of some of the uh, drinking cups. Very high quality. Yeah. Nice. Uh, the, Twit drinking cups. Yeah. There we have it in a water cooler. Mm. <laughs> so I cut the bottoms off these and it's nice. Uh, makes it easy to compare the, uh, the amounts. Right. So let's pour in equal amounts. Well, we'll actually, a. we'll get to the pour in just a bit. But first, let's go ahead and take another moment. For these messages. Here is a look at just a few of the stories we'll be watching in the week ahead. Earnings reports continue, and here's what you might want to keep an eye on. Snap. Makers of Snapchat will report their earnings for the first time since they went public in March. Now, those who've invested in the company will want to know if their success will stick around longer than their disappearing images and videos. NVIDIA, Yelp, and Electronic Arts will also report their earnings this week. And fresh on the heels of this week's Microsoft Education Announcements, Microsoft Build Conference also happens this week. We expect to hear about bots, Azure, Windows 10, augmented reality, and maybe even a little virtual reality. Mary Jo Foley and Paul Therott will be at the event where they will record Windows Weekly live from the event on Thursday. And finally, this week in San Francisco, it's Superbot, which bills itself as the premier conference for AI, chatbots, and virtual assistants. Unfortunately, it appears that the conference is for actual humans to discuss bots and not for the bots to meet and chat amongst themselves, which I believe would be much cooler. That is just a look at a few of the things we'll be tracking in the coming week. Join Jason Howell and me on Tech News Today every weekday at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern here on twit.tv. And we're back. And it's taken all this time for Patrick to pour one. This is pretty viscous <laughs> stuff. Uh, a is vic viscous. Uh, oh, B, not so much. Yeah, that's nice. Hmm. I'm actually not sure I, I, what the I difference is. I don't want to know what's on in these I'll things, take some. Right? Stop. Oh, don't put don't. it in the coffee cup. You do yeah. not want to be a resin impregnated hippo. That's, <laughs> that's bad. Yeah, the warning labels on these say, like, if ingested, well, too bad. Die. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's nice not, knowing you. If, if you get the formula in your eyes, I hope you enjoyed seeing while you could. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so be oh, careful. I, I, Keep I, out I, of reach of children. Uh, other thing, and this is from experience, when you've got resin like this, um, mark the cap. A and B, because yeah. if you reverse the caps, <laughs> <laughs> you'll never 
there. Open it again. Sealed. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can get the resin out by drilling into the bottom. Uh, but I'm, I'm just theoretically, I've never actually done it. This entire bottle is just warning labels. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it makes me so happy to be working with this stuff. <laughs> get medical attention. Do not induce vomiting. <laughs> Notice how it started with that. It was in case of. It's like, no, no, no. If you're no. holding this, go get medical attention yeah. right now. It's like, yeah, you're, yeah, this is not good. Uh, and wash your hands with soap and water after using. Yeah. And mm. don't touch uh, playmates. Yeah. And pretty much avoid touching these as much as possible. <laughs> I, I'm serious, folks. There's a cancer warning at the bottom. So just FYI. Yeah, this is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So show us what we're going to do. Now. All right. So Got let's see. Do I have equal parts here? Probably. It's pretty close. Yeah, they look pretty close. You know, it's good enough for NASA. Yeah. So uh, what I will do is I'll put it into one of these little measuring cups. I'll pour it on here so I don't ruin the table. Let me remove Brian's yeah. wonderful mold. Yes, my flashlight mold. Uh, so we want to pour nice and slowly. We're trying to avoid air bubbles because air bubbles ruin everything. And as, as always. I mean, don't that's, look That's good. what my mom used to Air bubbles ruin, ruin everything. Bubbles ruin everything. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're in a jacuzzi, in which case, also, oh, they're awesome. Well, raisins. Yeah. Raisins also ruin everything. You, wait, uh, you don't like raisins? Oh, find them in cookies. Both of you don't like such raisins? A disappointment. They're by I themselves, raisins. not really. In cereal, I, I, I like raisin bran, but a raisin on its own, no thanks. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I could eat raisins all day. And you, you know what? Bacon makes everything better. So no. bacon, bacon raisins? wrapped raisins, uh, you know, it's I, just the universe ends. I'm kind of ashamed to say this, but I think I'm past my bacon phase. Past? It, I didn't realize you could get. Past well, and remember, it. our house has the anymore. magic bacon box. You've seen it. Oh, it's yeah. It's a box in the fridge that just gets filled up by bacon. I, I don't know who makes it, it too long. but it's always there. And now, now that it's always there, you don't just, want it anymore. I just don't want it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm scraping the rest because A is a little, uh, little more goopy. Now I know from experience that anytime you get bubbles into an epoxy or a resin, mm -hmm. it's a natural fracture point. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it, yeah, it just structurally. Yeah, yeah, with the weight gets to the to the bubble, it will just crack it right open. So they always ta taught us no bubbles. Period. No. So bubbles. how do you avoid bubbles in this? Uh, you pour slowly. You don't do it fast because if you you know if you stir it and you stir it quick and you know you make lots of looping and mm -hmm. you know. If you if you disturb it too much, you're going to make bubbles in there. So you prefer your resin. Stirred, oh, oh. Stirred not, shaken. not shaken. Yes. Wow. Never mind. And <sighs> so yeah, Padre is not entertained. I am not. Oh, but um, one of the other things that I used to do when I was making um, uh, the, like resin covers. So basically, you would take like a table, you would put a bunch of stuff down, and then you would pour resin over the top to make a clear covering. Yeah. You don't want bubbles there, not because of it's going to destroy the strength, but because it makes it look not great. Right. Uh, what we would do is you would um, you would put an ultrasonic transducer on the bottom side of the surface, and it would just ah. vibrate it, and the bubbles would just naturally kind of want to leave right. leave the uh, the resin. Well, and Burke was saying there's like a pressure box you can Yeah, you can use yeah. like an, an autoclave. Put enough pressure and heat on the resin. Not mm -hmm. only will you help it to cure faster, but when you release the pressure, all those bubbles just kind of... Hmm. Right out. Interesting. And, and so what I'm doing here is I'm looking for bubbles that are in here, and with this popsicle stick, I'm just you know forcing them to the surface, popping them, pushing them to the side, trying to get the bubbles out. Yeah. And just mixing and this, it. While this does you do look it. tedious, but the mo the better you do the prep, the better the mold's gonna look. Yeah. Uh, the better the cast is gonna. All look. All right. I suppose that's enough. <laughs> Our amazing flashlight cast. <laughs> so. Uh, let me put that in here. And we want to pour this slow because we don't want bubbles. Easy now. So, Easy does it. Clever girl. Just let it go down the side. <laughs> okay, see, so, uh, so you didn't pour it down the middle because then you introduce a bunch of bubbles. Yeah, it would come down fast. I went to go down slow. It's like when you pour beer down the side of the glass. Uh-huh. You guys know about pouring beer. Yes. All right. And that's up to the top of the mold. Nice. And so now, if we sit patiently, in 24 hours, All right. it will be cured. Okay. We'll just hang out until then. So uh, the longest episode of Know How. <laughs> so uh, while we wait. Speaking uh, of bubbles, can... did you know that across the street, we've got the Lagunitas uh, Brewery, and they I... just hold, sold half of their business to Heineken. Uh, that oh. happened like a year or two ago. Yeah, I but it finally went through. Um, oh, it finally went through, yeah. 
So with resin, like you mentioned, coding something with resin. Uh, I had some leftover resin yesterday, so I actually coded my <laughs> business card. Wait, I got to see this. Hold on, I'm covering my phone number. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, it's coded, coded in resin. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, I'll cover uh, your, I'll cover your number. But that's that. This is this is freaking awesome. If you go to the the product cam, I I, I know you can't tell, but yeah, it well, does. Feel, it feels like one of those laminated business cards. This, Oh. Yeah, it's still, it, it was coded yesterday, so it's still a little uh, oh, tacky. I, I just put my fingerprint yeah, on it. So. Now I have your fingerprints. <laughs> oh, it's a trap! But, yeah. <laughs> that's what I wanted to yeah. fingerprint. Yeah, it's a little tacky still, but uh, this is, if you've ever been to one of those restaurants where they've got the, the stuff under the yep. clear, that's exactly what they do. They just do resin and coat the entire table and put whatever. Yeah. No, the little things they so there's a project that I want to do. It's you take uh, beer bottle caps and you place them on like a table yeah. and you pour resin over it. And then top. it's like a yeah. cool coffee table thing. That's you just have to mix is. a lot of this. That, but yeah. that's the thing. This is expensive. So yeah. I mean, that, that would but take a lot of this. Is, there's plenty of it here. This is, uh, let's see, eight fluid ounces each. So you'll get 16 fluid ounces of resin. So depending on how thick you need it, you could cover quite a big area. Kind of space, yeah. And the other thing is you would need a lip on the table because otherwise the resin would just yeah. keep pouring over the sides. You need, yeah. you, you have to pull it. And it will yeah, that's why it was set. hard doing it. my business card because I had to push it to the sides using the popsicle stick. Okay. And then, and I, th of course, there was there was spillover. Did you just crack it there out? There was no spillover. It wasn't. I, I just pushed it carefully to the edge. And How long is this going to take hours. to set? Uh, this takes 24, 18 to 24 hours to set. Uh, luckily, there's one I previously prepared. What? what? Like in the oven. Uh, I put a Lego brick into the mold so I can make my own Lego bricks. <laughs> Take uh, that, Lego. Yeah. And we are so I'm not going to pay five cents for a Lego brick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Buy all these materials instead. Uh, now, I probably could have done a better job with this mold. The edges here are a bit rough. <laughs> so it's not going to be... Perfectly like a Lego hey, brick. Can, also, can you hand me my mold, Brian? Uh, <laughs> if that's what you want. Because to I only we're, this mold is only one side. You can do molds that have both sides. You have to match it up and close them in. Okay. Uh, so you're not going to get the underside of the Lego brick. This is going to be a flat bottom instead of the the normal. <laughs> we notched, yeah. Yeah. So I won't be able to plug anything at the bottom of this fake Lego can, brick. Can we pour resin in that? Um, why? So you can yeah, make a, a little bit left here if you want to. <laughs> if you want to play with this, boing, boing. Here, just lick this that. resin. And, I don't. Okay. Don't get that on your fingers. Uh, Seriously, here, that is. You may need a paper towel. Uh, but you get it all over the desk, please. All right. So I'm gonna. <laughs> Padre's mold is so sad. Oh, that's gonna be. It's it's an ashtray. Well, it's gonna drip. Your oh, mom's gonna, gonna love drip. that. It's gonna drip. It's gonna drip. It's gonna drip. Oh, it's dripping. Oh, 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 it's dripping out the side. Oh, no. Here, put it in a... In a oh. Yeah, just dump it in there. All right, that's fine. Um, Fail. I am not good at this. <laughs> so I'm, I'm pulling back the silicone mold, and it's still pliable, so I can... <laughs> kind of like Padres. <laughs> yeah. Mine will be pliable forever. So I'm going to get the sides it's stuck on this side. Let's see if I use more release agent. Oh, here it comes. Oh, oh. oh. So we've got... Oh. Actually, that's kind of cool. Yeah, so we've got a little... Let me see how strong that is. A little is. resin Lego brick. You know, I'm wondering... And the wondering, mold is still intact, so I could ooh, pour in more resin. That's got strength. Can you attach the top, the Lego, to the fake Lego now? now well... There were a few air bubbles uh, in and there. And it's not completely uh, cured yet, so it's... I, I think I just squished the... Oh, oh, you know, I should yeah, stop... Yeah, I should everything. stop touching things. <laughs> yeah, everything no, it, I touch it, gets destroyed. It is, it is pretty solid, though. So, uh, yeah, so... That's, you know, we probably should have poured this in there to make yeah, another. Make another Lego brick. Than, pour it in the. It's so sad. <laughs> okay, so now you can reuse the mold for so you can make more Lego bricks. Or, I yeah, just, just a bunch of air bubble. I, yeah, I, I should just stop. You're, You're not making a mess. Good at the no, craft, no, well, don't put it there because it's going to leak through the paper towel. And uh -huh. Jason's going to be like, what is on my desk? And we'll go, Jason, <laughs> rub it on your pants. And the, the Burke is not going to be pleased. Burke, sorry about this. So how long was this sitting in the mold for, would you say? Uh, that was in the mold for about 22 hours. Okay, wow. it's still pretty, it's kind of soft. Yeah. 
Is it supposed to be completely hard by the time it's like done uh, set? The longer you, you leave it, the harder it will get. Up to like 72 hours is ideal. Oh, okay. But you can take it out of the mold at 24. It tastes like gelato. Oh, my God. Uh. It can't take you anywhere. Man. <laughs> okay. Oh. Maybe it'll like force your mouth just to close. <laughs> Padre won't be doing any more shows. <laughs> he can't talk anymore. <laughs> actually, okay, check this out. Look at the flashlight mold. This is this is actually kind of cool. It's, yeah, and you can see yeah, it's already some of the bubbles, bubbles are, start are to come up. up the sides. Hmm. And yeah, there's a few this. bubbles. You know, on the I sides. could I could see doing a project where you're like yeah. laying down LEDs and then putting a, a coat of resin over the top. And yeah, just making a nice hard surface. Yeah, you could put an LED into this Lego brick mold and then have a yep. little light up brick. Cool. It's not as good as the actual light up bricks, and it's probably fifty dollars worth of product to make equivalent of a five cent piece. I've got but, some ideas. Yeah, you know, you know remember you, that we had uh, a few years back. We were playing with that. Um, uh, it was. It's almost like sugu. It's. It was the thermoplastic. Mm -hmm. the plastic oh yeah. That you heat up. It would. Get, it would soften, and then it would harden. Um, I could see using that to make molds as well, because once you get you get it hardened, you oh, could yeah. just yeah, heat it up well. again, and then rip and release the mold it. Away. You'd probably want to. Uh, let it set more than 24 hours right. just to make sure make that the, the resin is really hard yeah. before you put it in the, the boiling water to mm, release the... That's cool. I mean, th this... Um, again, we're yeah, doing no, super doing, simple examples, but I, this is the basis of doing any sort of complicated cosplay where you, yeah. you have you know pieces that need to look accurate. Yeah, if you're going to do the Infinity Gauntlet and you need your gems, right. you can cast one gem and then you can uh, put in the different colors and, and recast it over and over until you've got all of your right. infinity gems. Yeah, so if you wanted to color this, do you have to get epoxy that's colored? Uh, you just add dye. Just add dye to yeah. it. Yeah. So you, if you want okay. clear or trans, like translucent blue, just add like a little drop. You don't need to add much. If you add too much, it's going to be really dark. But you wouldn't want to paint it. I mean, no, no, no. Painting no. resin, is just, it's going to destroy the look. Yeah, it, adding dye uh, while you're pouring it and you mix it in. Uh, well, while you pour the A and B together, that's when you add the dye. And uh, then you mix it, uh, get the bubbles out, and pour it into the mold. Cool. And you'll come out with a colored gem or a colored Lego brick. <laughs> <laughs> See, it, this this is the uh, it, you, sort of the conglomeration of everything that we've been doing, which is, okay, we, we've done 3D printing. We can do electronics. You gave us a tutorial, a quick primer on how we make fabric. This is how you do like the set pieces. For example, mm -hmm. uh, we've been thinking about for a while, uh, Kara, one of our engineers, Kara Cole, Who? she wants a Wonder Woman costume for Halloween. Mm -hmm. And I've already I got her measurements for making the bracelets, but I can 3D print the bracelets. I can't 3D print gems. And there's gems all, all over the costume, the, the right. tiara and the bracelets. I'm thinking, yeah, you combine it with this, then you use your, your tailoring slash seamstressing skills to, to make the rest of the costume, and that's it. That's the full package. Pretty cool. And then you throw in some LEDs like we did with the, the Tom, goggles Tom, and stuff. Tom. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I When uh, Kara asked me to make it, um, I said one one uh, stipulation, and that is uh, I get to make a costume for myself as well. You're going to have matching costumes? Yes. You're going to be Wonder Woman <laughs> too? Yeah. Oh, you could do the, the, the lasso and have it light up. With the oh, LED yeah. strip, I have uh, that the uh, the flexible. It's not LED. It's uh, it's like fluorescent. Yeah, it's basically yeah, the EL tube. EL, EL. yeah, EL. Ooh. Cool. Mm. I'd be down to see that. Yeah, uh, yeah, but you're gonna see me in a Wonder Woman. Nah, movie. maybe not that no, part. No, we won't see that part. No. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Patrick, thank you so very much. Now, if they want to find out more about this, if they want to find out more about anime anime cons, maybe they want to see your report from Silicon Valley Comic Con. Where should they go? Uh, definitely go to AnimeCons.tv. Uh, our AnimeCons TV covers more than anime conventions. We've got comic conventions. And we do uh, regular segments on cosplay help, uh, whether it's myself or my friends Elizabeth or Rob. They've got segments up there. So, yeah, AnimeCons.tv. Nice. That's Patrick Delahanta. He is our uh, programming guru here at Twit TV. If you've seen the website, if you uh, wonder how all our videos get to the right place, this is the man. He designs the flow, and he makes sure that everything gets done. So thank you very much for joining us again, Patrick. We'll have My you pleasure. back. Please do. Uh, maybe for another Comic-Con cosplay episode. But uh, you, you've you got a wide range of interests that we could rope yeah. you into. We'll figure something out. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Brian, we also have a place where people could find the notes. If they want to see the links to the products that uh, Patrick used to make this little project, 
they can always go there, and there is where, Brian? There is twit.tv slash kh. And like you said, Padre, you can find all the links to all the stuff that Pat uh, Patrick was talking about today. But also, this is a second part or a two-part episode. And if you missed the first one, you'll want to subscribe or download that one, which yep. you can also do there. Indeed. And also, don't forget that you can find us on the socials. We're all over the interwebs, <laughs> specifically at Google+. Plus. Go to plus.google.com. And look for the group Know How. We've got over, over 11,000 Kitas. That's our know-it-alls, people who are passionate about DIY and making. And they're at all stages of their journey. So if you're a beginner, if you're intermediate, if you're an expert, there's always something for everyone. Maybe you can answer a couple of questions. Maybe you can get some ideas for projects. And as always, please give us pictures and videos of the projects that you've done. We'll make sure they end up here on Twit TV. Right. And I have a feeling that there's probably a lot more people on Google Plus that are better at cosplay than Way. Padre. Uh, well, considering the fact that I broke everything I touched this episode. Yeah, I'd <laughs> that's say so, probably. not much different than most episodes. Oh, but <laughs> what's that? I was going to say, you know, we still need you to cosplay as Hunk from the new Voltron. Hunk? You haven't seen the new Voltron? I haven't watched I haven't. the new Voltron he, yet. Oh my God, he would be dead ringer. <laughs> Because that's a big... I, I, Hunk I, sounds I, fitting. No, the, the <laughs> only costume I really want to make is uh, my neighbor Tortoro. I want to I want to be oh, Tortoro. Oh, yeah. That's pretty awesome. And Adam Savage made a step-by-step, -step, so I'm probably going to oh, cool. like that. Nice. Well, I'm sure once you do get around to uh, making that, you might post some pictures somewhere, which uh, would be on, maybe. on Twitter. On the tweets, yeah. On the tweets. Uh, and if you want to follow me there, you can find me at Cranky... <laughs> At Cranky underscore Hippo, yeah. I'm trying to get Cranky Hippo. That's right. But I am I think I'm stuck with the underscore. Yeah. If you want to find me, you can find me at Padre SJ. And Patrick, if they want to find you. At P. Delahanty. Yeah. And also, don't forget that we've got a man behind the scenes. He's the guy who pushes all of our buttons. It's way back there. Good the man. Void. Good man. Uh, you can send him a bottle of scotch, and he'll appreciate it. Otherwise, <laughs> don't bother him at twitter.com slash A-N-E-L-F-3. That's an elf three. Until next time, I am Father Robert Balliser. And I'm Brian Burnett. And now that you know how, go mold it. Don't put your fingers in it. That's bad. <laughs> bad. <laughs>